To connect devices to Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud, you need to create a workspace. But first of all, you need to sign up to Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud. To connect a computer, download and run an installation package. You can download it using the link in an invitation, or from the company's workspace on the website. To connect a mobile device, follow the link in the email invitation. To be able to send invitations, add employees' email addresses to the workspace. This video will help you create a workspace and connect devices to it. Open a web browser and go to Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud at cloud.kaspersky.com. Click Sign Up. Then enter your email address and password. The password must consist of at least eight characters, including uppercase and lowercase letters and digits. Confirm personal data processing and click Create an Account. Check your mailbox. Open the message and follow the link to complete registration. Click Continue. Enter your email address and password. At the first step of the wizard, accept the Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Terms of Use. Otherwise, you will not be able to create a workspace. Choose the country where your company resides. The wizard will detect your country by IP address automatically, but you can change it if necessary. Based on your choice, prices will be displayed in your national currency. Select the solution to use. Accept the Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Agreement. Next, specify the name of your company. This doesn't affect anything in particular, but users will see it in the email invitations, so it is better to state the full official name. Next, specify the country and, if necessary, the state or region where your company is located. This selection determines where your Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Server will be physically located and which language will be used in the interface by default. You can change the interface language in the settings at any time though. Specify the approximate number of devices that you are going to protect, including workstations, servers, smartphones and tablets. This choice affects the resources that will be allocated to your Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Server. If you are creating a workspace in Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud for the first time, you will be asked to fill in your contact information. First name, last name, company name, email address, country, zip code and phone number. Only the first and last name are required. The other data is optional. You will also need to accept the privacy policy. After you prove that you are not a robot, the workspace will be created, and you will receive a confirmation email. Follow the link on the screen or in the email to go to your workspace. Accept the license agreement for the Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud components. In the future, when connecting devices, you will not have to accept additional agreements. Next, specify the proxy server settings if one is used at your company. Accept the Kaspersky Security Network Statement. KSN allows you to protect against the latest threats as soon as they are detected by Kaspersky specialists. Protection can work without KSN, but in this case it receives information about new threats only with the next update of signature databases, which usually happens several hours later than data appears in KSN. Besides, KSN protects against false positives. If you do not accept the agreement, the protection will use only signature databases. You will be able to accept the agreement and activate KSN later in the settings. Accept the Data Discovery Agreement. The Data Discovery technology monitors data in Office 365 and protects it from leakage and compromise. This component will only work if you accept the agreement. You will also be able to accept the agreement later, when activating Data Discovery. Next, you can configure Endpoint Detection and Response Preview. This component allows you to analyze non-standard attacks, visualizes them and facilitates response. We will tell you about it in more detail in other videos. Finally, accept the limitation of liability agreement for endpoint detection and response preview. Your workspace is now set up. A 30-day trial license is activated in each workspace immediately upon creation. If you have a commercial license, add it to your workspace to use protection for as long as the license permits. Adding a license is simple. Switch to the license tab. Click Enter Activation Code and specify your code. If you plan to use a single security profile for the whole company, you don't need to add more users. However, if you plan to use multiple profiles, add at least one user per profile. To add a user, open the Users section and click Add Users. Enter the user's email addresses, one address per line, and after you click the Next button, double-check them. If you want to change something, click an alias or address to edit it. Next you will see the text of the invitation that will be sent to the users. You cannot change this text. You can send invitations to the users immediately or cancel sending and do it later from the list of users. 
the added users will appear in the list. Also, you can see the number of devices in the security profile assigned to each user, and which users have Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Administrator permissions.